Love to you and your loved ones. And may that spread throughout social media and spread throughout the world to all of humanity. So, every week is getting more fearful and so we need some more relaxation. Relaxation is your optimal state. You're, when you're stressed, you actually get literally more stupid, and I'm not joking. When you're stressed, um, you have adrenaline, you have, um, what's the other one? Cortisol. Your body is literally like when you're really stressed, your body is literally preparing itself to bleed. Like, it doesn't know the difference between you stressing out about the news, if you, you know, if you do it intensely enough, or stressing out about your girlfriend leaving you or boyfriend leaving you. It comes, it becomes a life or death situation to the body, to the nervous system, to the brain, which is the nervous system. And you getting attacked with a knife and getting cut. Your brain and your nervous system sees them as the same thing. So you can imagine why being stressed Especially us, we're like constantly stressed. Uh, even say, you know, ancient peoples, they had a lot more say, you know, maybe violence, um, you know, people, tribes would attack you or whatever, but animals would attack you too. But um, we are now in a constant state of stress. Uh, so, we really, really need to relax, make an active effort to relax. <laughs> we have to really intensely relax. Okay, so let's just jump into it because we need to relax and do these things every day. You can watch these videos or you can just do these practices throughout the day, at least once a day for maybe five minutes. But you can do these all throughout the day, especially after you watch the news or you something or you something triggers you or anything like that. These are especially the times you want to calm down. Okay, so let's uh, first of all. If you want to be relaxed, the first thing is to do is to realize that if your body's relaxed, if your mind is thinking things that a relaxed person is thinking, then you are relaxed. Okay? Give yourself that instant possibility. See? So close your eyes. Think of the most relaxed person or Think of the most relaxed you've ever been, ever. How was your, how was your body, and you don't even have to remember, just your body knows, okay? How was your body posture when you were the most relaxed person? Men more mentally relaxed, we're not talking about like laying out like, you know, mentally relaxed. When you were mentally relaxed, how was your body posture? Okay, so there it is, okay? Boom, do it. You're there. What were you thinking, or what would you be thinking if you were the most relaxed you've ever been? What would you be visualizing? Here's a big one. What would your breathing pattern be like? All right. There you are, you're relaxed. 
in fact, the most relaxed you'd e you've ever been. Instantaneously, Now, if you want, do the long exhales in and out of your nose, breathe, breathe in regularly, exhale very slowly, five seconds, maybe seven seconds, I said up to 10 seconds last time, so go ahead, just continue to do regular inhales in your nose, and five to 10 Second exhales, very softly, slowly. Continue to do that. And if you don't want to count because it's too much, which it's kind of good. Once you know basically where you're at, then don't count. Better to just feel it and relax. Not get your brain involved, but keep going, okay? Now, Give you a couple seconds to do that. Your body is so relaxed. Your mind is so relaxed. But you are still alert. Yet so calm. Physically relax any part of your body that has tension. Whether it's your shoulders, your back, your hips, your stomach. Make a note of where you were tense too. Keep going, and if it gets tedious, then just breathe regularly in and out of your nose. Okay, now, the other thing that helps us relax and be in a high vibration is love and um, visualizing positive things. So, I want you to put a little smile on your face, okay, and Send that smile, just feel it, okay? Just send that smile to your brain. Smile at your brain. And if you want, and or if that's not enough, visualize beautiful, high vibratory love, light coming down into your crown, from your crown chakra, filling you. It doesn't really matter where it's coming from. Just fill it with light, high vibration, with love. Now I want you to take that down, down your neck. Smile down your neck. Smile at your neck, your spine, and or bring in that love light, sparkling, beautiful love light whatever color you want, gold maybe, purple maybe, I don't know, whatever feels good to you. Now keep smiling down, have it going down, more towards the back though, your spine, smiling, sending it down, it's falling down, your smile going down, Bring in that love light sparkle if you want as well with it. Thank your nervous system. Thank it, love it. It's everything. It's your thoughts. You know, it's basically your entire system as you know it as far as consciousness on a physical level and, and energetic level keep going down the spine towards the back smiling at it loving it thanking it it does so much for you 
and it's so advanced the most advanced thing on earth take it all the way down to the root the bottom the coccyx coccyx from coccyx what i don't know i always don't know how to say that sacrum we'll say that bring it down to there relax that area relax the coccyx the sacrum now smile at that area relax it appreciate it thank it tell it it can be safe the root your root your connection to earth tell it it can be safe it's safe there is no threats right now just relax there's no need for alarm Console it if it is scared. And thank it for keeping you alive and being on alert for you. Now, move to your hips, all around the hips. And do the same. Thank it. Thank it for supporting you and making you so mobile. being the crux of your movement. Fill it with light. <sighs> okay. These videos go so fast. I wish I had more time, but I don't want to make them too long. relax and I'll just say something I'll let go I don't know what I'm gonna say but let the intuition do what is best for you all and message me I would really love to hear if what I say seems relevant to you either now or in general okay because I have no idea what I'm gonna say So continue to just, I know, go to a part of your body that's tense or you have issues. Do the same thing. Send loving light there. Look at, feel the light there. Smile at it. Thank it. Appreciate it. Okay? And keep just going wherever you need to or places you feel insecure about. Places where you've had injuries in the past, whatever. <coughs> okay? I'm just going to talk. Hmm. There is no need to fear because life is always perfect. People get confused when I might say perfect, but perfect it just means that it is valid, it is complete in itself. It is exactly how it's supposed to be. And so, trust. Just let go and trust. It is your control that is what creates things, this makes them very stiff, makes them rigid, and makes them be what you do not want them to be because you are not being flexible. You are not understanding that things are flowing, things are changing and you don't need to judge them of course the body is afraid the body is afraid to die the body is afraid to not be safe but it doesn't really matter does it because you can't control it and so if you can't control it then you trying to control it only makes things worse and just makes you a nervous wreck for no reason but making things worse. And so, letting go. We always talk about that, but we don't do it. And we don't practice it, and that's why we can't do it. We have to practice these things. We have to work on relaxing. We have to work on being happy within. And we have to work on just letting go. 
Some people are better at it than others. But just let go. You have to practice these things. You have to practice by just accepting and then just letting things be exactly what they are because you can't do anything about it. So then it's just a mental state and it's instant. It's so simple. It's the easiest thing to do, but the, your fear won't let you do it. And your fear is only going to make things worse. It's going to make you sick. It's going to make you suffer. It's going to make you a difficult person to be around. All because you're trying to control something you can't control. So there's no logic in that. And you're just making everything worse for you and for everyone around you. And so please work on letting go. Letting go of your fear. Accept it. It doesn't matter what happens. And you can't change it. So that's why I say it doesn't matter. You can only just accept what it is. If you believe in a God or if you believe in karma, then especially then, you have to trust that it's exactly the way it is. People talk about it, but they don't live it. And so you got to live it. That is the difference here. And that's it. That's all. And you will live a good life or you'll be like everyone else and live a fearful life and complain and be difficult and whine and just be someone that is trying to change things. But you can't. Okay? So... That is all. Let me know if this was relevant to you or in general, relevant to you now or in general, because I didn't know what I was going to say. All right, peace.